Ooh, these lashes. I ain't gonna lie. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I'm doing a get ready with me with some new products and some products that have been in my collection but are new to me. So I did this full face and these long, beautiful lashes, proud of myself, using, like I said, products that are fairly new. These are my first impressions. So I absolutely love how the look came out and I'll just tell you guys right now, everything played well together, but I cannot wait to show you what I used. So before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do a lot of hauls, I do a lot of makeup, I do some hair, wig videos, I do nails, so a lot of stuff related to beauty with some fitness sprinkled in. So if you wanna see how I got this look and what products I use today, stay tuned and keep on watching. So today we're just doing a get ready with me using a bunch of newer products that I have. Some of them are not used yet, but have been sitting in my collection. So we're just going to jump straight into it. We're going to start off with primer. I've already moisturized my face. This is a new product to my collection and fairly new to the makeup world. This is the KVD Pore Refining Primer. I did a haul recently and picked this up. It does say that it's pore refining and also mattifying. I don't know if I need mattifying today because I'm also going to be trying the foundation and it says it's a serum foundation. So I'm thinking that it might be like, you know, kind of radiant, maybe natural, but it's definitely not going to be mattifying. So I like to use mattifying primers when I use stuff like that, but this feels pretty good. My initial impressions. So we will see how it wears because I do plan on filming a lot more today. So while I'm letting that sit in, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my eyeshadow. I like to do that when I'm using a new palette just in case we have a bunch of fallout. For my eye primer, I pulled this out. I don't think I've used, I have not used this yet. This is the About Face Matte Fluid Eye Paint. This is in the shade, oh Lord, Smell Before Rain? Y'all. I might need to get, get Lasix or something. I feel like I've been having trouble seeing some of this stuff. Yeah, smell before rain. I wasn't sure if it was shell before rain or smell. Either way, it is a neutral shade and it is just basically like a matte liquid eyeshadow, but I'm gonna use it as an eyeshadow primer. So this is blending out nicely. And it is a light shade, so it'll help cancel out all my discoloration. I am going to go ahead and set that with a little bit of powder just to make sure it doesn't move around while I'm doing my eyeshadow because I feel like it might take a while to dry down and I don't want to have to worry about creasing. So this is new to my collection. Y'all, I don't know why I wanted this palette so bad. But the Juvia's Place Coffee Shop palette is just so pretty to me. It is a very neutral palette. And I just recently, <laughs> I need to look at this. So this is the chocolates and this is this palette. And the funny thing is I got the chocolates recently and I was like, there's probably a lot of shades in here that are similar. So I don't need to have both. And then I still got it anyway, because that's what I do. So I'm just going, these shades do not have names on them or anything. So we're going to have to point while we go. I'm just going to take a fluffy, one of my fluffy refer brushes. And we're going to start with this shade right here, going into the crease. And I already know I love the Juvia's Place formula. So I'm expecting this to be good. I do love that this palette has both cool and warm tones to it. So you could use it for either. 
which makes it a great palette to add to your collection. I do feel like, I don't know, it's almost kind of half and half to be honest. So I think there's enough shades you can mix and match and put it together to do whatever you want. Next, we're gonna go in with a slightly deeper shade. I don't know why this one down here is calling me. So I'm gonna take a different brush that is not as fluffy. This is one of my Blend Bunny brushes, I think. Yeah, this is the number B5. And we're just gonna start putting that in the crease as well, but a little bit lower. And you can see these are blending nicely. I don't have any patchiness. And I'm just gonna keep building this up. So now I'm gonna take a smaller brush. This is the mini, mini blending brush from Colored Rain. And we're gonna go in, I'm gonna play between these two shades right here. They're both browns, but this one is super dark. And I'm not sure if I need that dark, so we're going into the slightly lighter one first. But I think the plan is to do a cut crease. I think, we'll see. I'm gonna try to go in, I just wanna see. I just wanna see what this darker shade looks like. I'm taking the same brush. We're gonna put it next, oh yeah. So I feel like the other one, I was building it up a little bit, but this one is just like, bam, she is dark. Yeah. It almost looks black, but it is not. These eyes are getting dark pretty quick. So I'm just gonna go keep building this up a little bit, but I'm also gonna blend around the edges to make it a little seamless. And then we will come back and cut this crease. All right, I think I'm done blending for now. You know how sometimes you gotta go back and do a little more. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little more of this eyeshadow base on and get our cut crease mapped out and then I'll figure out if I wanna do a matte look or a shimmer on the lid because I haven't decided that yet. So I'm leaning towards matte just because it's been a while since I've done that. But y'all know how I am with my shimmers. And I'm low key thinking about putting a duochrome because that is my jam and it always makes me feel good. I think we're gonna just stick with mattes. I haven't done an all matte look in a really long time. I don't know if I've ever done one on my channel, to be honest. So let's see. I'm gonna take a flat brush. So I'm gonna start off with the cream shade in the corner and we're gonna put that on the inner part. That is really light. And then to blend into the dark, we're gonna go ahead and try this shade right here, see what she does. That is really pretty. And then I'm gonna go in with a slightly darker one, which I don't know. Do we wanna use the gray? Yeah, let's go ahead and try this one so we can use a different shade. And I'm just using the same brush. Let's see if we can make these blend. Back with my darker brown. Okay, I like how this is coming out. It always looks better when you put your makeup on, so I'm gonna trust the process on this and then come back and see if I need to fix anything, but that is feeling like she is very dramatic, which I wanted, so we are on the right track. For foundation, I have the new KVD Good Apple Full Coverage Serum Foundation. 
I have two shades. This was not available in store, so I bought two shades and I'm bringing one back. Um, but I wasn't sure because the shades look different comparing them to the Good Apple Balm. So in the Good Apple Balm, I have Tan 74, which looks like this. And I'm going to go ahead scoop my chair up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and swatch these on my chest just so you can see the differences. I feel like when I wear this one, once it settles, I feel like it almost kind of looks like it's a little too olive maybe for me. But right now, like that, I feel like it looks really good. So I picked up tan 70 and 70 <laughs> and 72 in the serum one. And now I'm worried these are going to be too light. This is shade 70. This is shade 72. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be way too light. So let's go with 72. I'm going to swatch them both. But the pictures that they had online, I felt like 72 looks like it could have matched. And that's why, because it's so peachy orange. Jesus. No, that's not my shade. I mean, I know I gotta let it dry down, but right off the bat, I felt like if I mix those, maybe. Watch neither one of these work, and we gonna wear one of them today. I don't care which one. All right, this is 72. All of these <laughs> look very different, but we're gonna definitely go with 72. And I'm just gonna let those sit and dry down so you can see the differences. So I'm gonna start with one pump not color correcting or anything. And I usually just start on the bottom of my face. I don't know if this dries fast, so I feel like I gotta kinda work fast. Better be safe than sorry. I'm laughing at how different those shades look. It's crazy because now I feel like this one looks like it's my skin tone. But I just hate when it dries down. It looks so like olive golden and I don't feel like I'm that shade. I don't know y'all. I know I might have some <laughs> shade dysmorphia or something, who knows. But this is what this looks like so far with one coat, with one pump. And I put most of it down here. So we're gonna go in with a second full pump. And again, concentrating more on my trouble areas, which is how I normally apply my foundation. And I'm gonna pat this in to try to keep the coverage and see how much we can build it up. Ooh, Harris, what you doing? Yeah, this is a little red. Man, these shades just, I don't know. Y'all know I always make it work, so I'm not worried. It's just, I would love to find something that I feel like I didn't have to finesse so much. And I feel like with the Givenchy um, Prism Matte one, that one's a really good shade match for me. I've also found the Black Opal Stick in Nutmeg is a pretty good match for me, even though that tends to lean a little red. Yeah, I just definitely think this one in the middle, I might have to try it again by itself, but right now we're gonna stick with this one. I don't want to mix them because I'm not mixing it in real life. I'm gonna do one more pump to see what we can get coverage wise because I still feel like I see my dark spots peeking through a little bit. And it does say, I believe that this is a medium cut. Oh, it says full coverage. So why I need so many pumps? Lightweight all day wear, transfer resistant, Keats leaf extract to help modify. Yeah, so why do I need all this product? If you full coverage, be full coverage from the jump. I definitely don't feel like the pictures look how they how they look in terms of like showing what the model's skin looks like with shade. And again, that could just be my computer resolution who knows i don't feel like considering how many layers i put on i don't feel like i put on a lot of product like it doesn't feel heavy on my face or anything like that so that's a good thing 
As you can see, shade's a little dark. We're gonna make it work. Moving on to concealer, I'm gonna use my Good Apple KVD, yeah, Good Apple Lightweight Full Coverage Concealer. I tried this before and it's been sitting in my collection. I don't love the shade of this, which is why I don't wear it a lot. Um, I thought, I think I thought it was going to be a, I don't know why I didn't like it. I guess I need to revisit it. I don't know. It feels like it's not quite bright enough for a full coverage look. And I think when I went to blend it out, wearing it for just my lighter coverage days, it was too light. I don't know. Cause right now I'm feeling like there's nothing wrong with this. <laughs> So that's why sometimes we have to revisit products. I don't know if I thought maybe it was supposed to be my skin tone or what, but clearly we're getting some brightening, but considering how dark the foundation is, I'm not quite sure this is light enough, but let's see how it goes. I don't remember how the finish was or anything. So I feel like this is kind of a first impressions a second first impressions. It's brightening for how dark this foundation is though, and that's what I wanted, so it'll be good. I feel like all of this together is blending out very, very well. I don't know if it's because they're all from the same brand, same line, or just the products working well together in general. I feel like this concealer wants to prove me wrong today, like I didn't give it a fair chance. I ain't mad about that. For my powder today, I'm gonna use the House Labs powder. I have mine in the shade Golden. This is their Bio Blurring Loose Setting Powder. I just dropped this all over my lap. I don't like the net on this. And I also don't know if this is good to bake with. It says blurring, so I hate these net ones. Like, it makes me want to cut it and just be able to dip my sponge in it because I really like to press my powder in with a sponge. A lot's coming out though. I just want to use my sponge. So we got everything blended in. That powder is really brightening because I didn't feel like, <laughs> I did not feel like it was going to be that light, but I like it. I like it a lot. So for contour, I am using the Huda Beauty Medium Tantour Contour and Bronzer Cream. Bought this a while back. Just been sitting. All I did was swatch it. So like I have said several times, Barbara needs to start using her makeup more. I'm not saying I ain't going to shop, but you know, we need to be more mindful of using the stuff that we have. So I have no idea how to use this. So I'm just gonna take my brush that I normally contour with. Okay, shade is good. I feel like the very first time I tried this, when it first came out, I felt like it was like really muddy on my skin, but I was also very new to cream contour and bronzing products. So it could have just been very well a user's error because right now I am feeling like I also got a darker shade than this, which was really crazy, but I didn't know what the hell I was doing. So yeah, I like how this looks. I feel like it is very, it's deep enough and it's neutral. Like I feel like this is bronzer and contour the way it says that it should be. So I pulled out my Pillow Talk Charlotte Tilbury Medium to Deep Face Palette. And I don't remember if this has a cream in it. If it does, I don't wanna set my bronzer yet. This, this is looking very, very glowy. I'm gonna go ahead and set my bronzer. I just pulled out this Nabla bronzer, the Skin Bronzing in Soft Revenge. Honestly, I pulled this out because I want to see if I actually like it or not, because I feel like I was gonna declutter it and I didn't. And cause I just don't remember how I felt about it. Oh, is that under my eye? And I mean, honestly, putting it on top of this is not really, not really helping me tell. I might've came too far in the front with that, but we'll figure it out. So let's go in with the blush. I am definitely going to start with this darker shade here. 
and just take my blush brush. I don't know how pigmented this is. Oh, I don't feel like that picked up hardly anything. Oh, okay. Well, I'm digging my brush. There we go. I'm digging my brush in it. I don't know if there was an overspray on it or what, but I was pressing pretty hard. I'm going to put the darker shade towards the back, although I already kind of pulled it to the front, and then go into this lighter shade here. Ooh, that's pretty. We'll just kind of blend all that together. Okay, cheeks. I'm going to take my powder brush and just go in the front a little bit, not to have this come up so far. Diffuse it. And then for highlighter, we're going to stay in this palette too. And let's use them both. I want to see how this one looks. more like a blush topper that's pretty too i remember swatching this in the store and just being like yep i need to have it so we're putting this more on top of the blush and then we're going to go in with the highlighter shade here and see right oh yeah right on the top of the cheekbones oh i love how all this looks together it just looks like it's like melted into the skin. It's not sitting on top of my skin, not really accenting any texture. So far, I am loving how my face is looking. I don't know if y'all can see what I see, but I think this looks good. I'm just gonna go and finish my lower lash line real quick. I'm gonna just smoke it out because this look is super smoky and we are just gonna go with it. I'm taking that dark shade And then I'm gonna take the slightly warmer shade here. And I just went underneath and then bring that all the way to the inside. And then tie all of those together. Do I wanna do the cream shade? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do the cream shade. Almost like an inner corner highlight. And then for eyeliner, I don't think I've ever used this on camera either. This is the Better Than Sex Easy Glide Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Y'all know I'm easy with eyeliners. I use my Physician's Formula Lash Booster and just, that is super easy for me. No muss, no fuss, but I feel like this is kind of similar in terms of the brush and how it's gliding on, so. I don't know why I would buy a high-end version of something that's less expensive unless I find it at the cosmetics company store, but I guess if I was looking for a high-end version, I would use this one. So that went on pretty easy. I mean, it's pretty dark and I don't feel like too much is coming out at one time, so. I think this would be beginner friendly. I'm gonna do the other eye <laughs> off camera. For mascara, we have the Scandalous L'Oreal Telescopic Lift. This is their length, lift, and volume mascara. I got mine in black, and I got the waterproof version only because I don't think I have a lot of waterproof mascaras. And so I wanted to get something different from what I already have in my collection. The reviews were about the same as far as like if it was good or not. Oh, this wand is pretty interesting. It is the bristle wand and I don't know, are you supposed to like put this on a certain way using one side? Oh. So it says use the front first to lift and load your lashes using the front hook bristles and then use the side hook to separate. So we're gonna see right now. I don't know if you guys will be able to see the difference that this makes on my lashes. I can tell 
right off the bat if I'm gonna like a mascara or not. And I think I'm gonna like this one. Oh, and then I stick myself in the eye. I definitely feel like this is like grabbing my lash and like really pulling it through. It's kind of sharp to be honest, this is weird. But yeah, the fact that I can see that over my eyeliner, like normally with regular mascaras, sometimes I can't. So I wait to test them whenever I don't have a eye look on that is super dramatic, but I can still see this one. So I don't often wear a waterproof mascara, but this might be one to go in my travel bag and then I can have a different option from my Thrive Cosmetics. So this is what my lashes look like, completely coated. I like this mascara a lot. I'm probably still gonna put lashes on just because I feel like this look deserves it, but I feel like it coated, it's pretty dark, my lashes feel long, they're not too separated and spidery looking. And the bottom lashes did well too, so for my brows, I'm just gonna do one on camera because I am trying the Brow Free Styling Wax by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This came in a kit with a powder. I don't normally do powder, but since it came together, we're gonna try to use it together. I don't even know how to use this stuff. I think you're sp supposed to like stick your spoolie in the wax and then I don't know how much you're supposed to use and push it into the brows and kind of like take a spatula or something and push them up. Y'all, I have no idea. Whoa. That is definitely sticking my brows up. I think I used too much because now I have white stuff. I don't know if I like my brows spiky like that. I know some people do wear theirs like that, but that is not my norm. We're gonna go with it though. I definitely put way too much on this spoolie. I'm just brushing some of that off because that was kind of ridiculous. So I think I've seen that and then I don't know what to use. I'm just using this and people kind of just like push it to stick it and then that holds it. Y'all comment and tell me if I'm doing this right. I don't know, that's what we doing though. And then I'm just gonna go in with the powder now. Did I do that right? <laughs> I have no idea. And this powder is in the shade dark brown. I'm gonna start with the tail because if this is not right, I don't want it to look crazy in the front. I would so just rather use my pencil. Honestly, the only reason why I got this set was because I wanted to try that brow freeze. I do not want to use a powder in my brows. That is not my norm. I don't care if it looks more natural. I like how my brows look in general when I do them. This just feels like it's so much more work, but maybe you're supposed to just do it like a more natural brow look with the powder versus sculpt it. I feel like it's almost kind of making it hard to fill them in. All right, y'all see what I'm doing so far. I don't wanna bore you. I'm gonna play with this and then see what I can come up with. All right, I just feel like that took a while, but as far as how they look, I kind of like it. I feel like it's like a combination of a bushy sculpted brow. So I'm wondering if I could recreate this using a pencil with the brow freeze because the powder, ain't nobody got time for all that. But I mean, I like how this looks, so I can't complain too much. What else do we have left? I think that might be, oh, lips, duh. Okay, so lips, I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills lip liner in malt. And then I just picked up, where'd it go? This Fenty, Fenty Icon Velvet Liquid Lipstick. I got it in the shade Riri, and now I'm not even sure this is gonna match. So I'm just gonna line my lips real quick. And this lip liner I got in a kit that I bought that came with a clear gloss. I've worn the gloss, it's a clear gloss, nothing 
super revolutionary. So let me first swatch this shade and see if I can even get it to match because I don't want something that's too pink. And I feel like I remember this being a little pink. This is so pretty though. Love this packaging. Yeah, she's pink. We're gonna do it. Ooh wee, that is very pink. Hold on. Uh, does it go with this look though? Because it could. If I blend it right. Can we pull this off? Maybe I need to put a nude color gloss on top. Do I have any new glosses? Ooh yeah, let's try this Makeup by Mario. Pro Volume Lip Gloss in the shade Golden Nude. See if she actually does anything to help with this color, kind of tone it down. Because I feel like my look is cool toned and this pink is cool toned, so it's not bad, but that did not help. But we're just gonna roll with it. So I'm going to put on my lashes and then come back and give you my final thoughts. I do have a new pair of lashes. Ooh wee, these are the Lily Lashes 3D Minks in Miami Flare. I feel like these are kinda big, like they feel a little intimidating. They look wispy, so they might be okay. It's just whenever they have that thicker band, I get a little worried, but we're gonna try them on and I will come back and tell you guys my final thoughts. Ooh, these lashes. I ain't gonna lie, I struggled a little bit. The band is kind of thick, but it was curved already. So it kind of made it easier to place it, but I also think it might've had to do with my lash glue because black lash glue, I have trouble seeing on the band. So I thought I was putting enough and I don't think I was. So another thing that helped me, I got this little handy dandy fan and so I didn't have to wait as long for my lashes to air dry. And then after I put them on, I use my fans. So we're gonna go ahead and finish with setting spray. I bought this a while back, I haven't used it yet. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I am batch filming today, so I want my makeup to last and I want my forehead to wrink wrinkles not to be crazy. I don't know how this thing is gonna spray. Is she broke? What's happening? I have not used this yet. Why is this not working? No, did I get a bad one? That makes me so mad. I can't get that to work. So I'm going to use another box I'm just opening. This is the Professional Super Setter by Benefit. I have not used this one yet either. That is so depressing. I'm gonna have to try to find another bottle to put it in. Ooh, I like the mister on this one. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I really like that. It kind of smells like the Urban Decay All Nighter, actually. You are staying out. Whew. And then I'm just gonna take, I always take my sponge and just kind of press it in so I don't have any drops anywhere. I love how my makeup looks today. So right off the bat, I have no complaints. Not a one. I loved everything. I don't have anything. I really don't. Everything played together well. I'm going to probably take this bronzer upstairs and use it. This is the Nabla one. Just to see if I really like it. Because I honestly don't know based on using it with what I used. I've had it for a while and I'm still kind of decluttering stuff. So... I'm gonna take that upstairs and try to use it by itself. I feel like this lash glue is like sticking to my bottom lashes. It's so weird, but that setting spray dried fast. I love how all these products work together. This is the final look on how these shades look. And I don't know, I don't love how this one looks on me. I know that is pretty much blending into my skin, but I just don't like how it looks. This, I feel like, I don't know, I don't like it either. I like I like how my face looks right now, so I'm probably gonna keep this one and it's gonna be dark and I'm just gonna finesse it like I always do. So 
that is it for this video comment below tell me what you guys think do you like the look have you tried any of these products anything you think doesn't look good or just any of your reviews i would love to hear your thoughts if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you're new i hope you decided to join the family hit that subscribe button and i will see you in my next video bye